Today we're going to make this candy text in Illustrator. Now this is fully editable, you can double click and rename it however you like. By the way, this has been inspired from a Raphael Serra. Alright, let's select the type tool and I went with the Bukhari script. I'm also going to tilt this, I'm going to select the shear tool and I'm going to move this a little bit like that, rotate it and I'm going to go to object, transform, reset bounding box. Let's uncheck the color from the fill. Now I'm gonna go to the appearance. If you don't have the appearance, you can go to windows and select appearance. And we're gonna go down here to add a fill. And I'm gonna go with magenta. And now I'm gonna go and create another fill, drag it under the magenta fill. And I'm gonna recolor this as brown. Now let's go to the effects. Let's go to path and offset path. I'm gonna go with 10 in my situation, click okay. Let's go back to the effects again distort and transform transform and we're gonna move it horizontally and vertically i gotta go with somewhere around seven by seven or six click ok now we also have a stroke here and we're gonna change the color to white and as you can see it's going to add the stroke on the letters one by one and we don't want it like that and now let's drag the stroke under the magenta feel so it's gonna be in between the magenta and the brown I'm also gonna increase the stroke thickness I think I'm gonna go with three and I'm gonna go to the effects go to distort and transform transform and we're gonna move this as well. I gotta go with horizontal two and vertical minus two. Click OK and I'm gonna add some more stroke and I'm gonna go back to the fill and I'm gonna increase the offset. There it is. Click OK. Now if I zoom in you also can check out these sharp edges. So I gotta go to the stroke, click on the stroke and I'm gonna make the corners curvy. I'm not gonna create another fill and I'm gonna recolor this as blue and I'm gonna drag it under the brown fill. Click on it, let's go to the effects, path, offset path and I'm gonna increase this a little bit more. I'm gonna try it out with 15 and I'm gonna go to effects, distort, transform, transform and I'm gonna reposition it to be somewhere in the middle and I'm gonna click OK, go back to offset path and I'm gonna increase it more click OK and I'm gonna create another copy of the brown fill. I'm gonna press and hold alt and drag it under the blue fill. So it's gonna create a new copy and I'm gonna go to the transform and I'm gonna move it 20 by 20. Click OK and this is how I make this delicious text effect in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.